So Dan, do you remember what you were struggling with before we met? Well, before we started with this, you mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah, we already knew each other. Sorry, dumb question. Because I still, we I still with this. remember. Yeah, I still yeah. remember all the things I was struggling with when I met you. Um, <laughs> uh, well, basically, um, I was in a really negative mindset and I couldn't, uh, I couldn't get out of bed really. Like that was the thing. Um, I was overwhelmed by negative stuff in my life that I wasn't able to control. Um, I didn't feel like I had any control. Yeah. Uh, that was the, that was the main reason, right? Like being, being overweight and unfit was like, that's important like to change. And I do feel better for not having that, but it was about taking control of it and doing it because that's the thing is like deep down, you know that you're not doing the things that will improve you and you need to do those things. And health was going to be the biggest carryover into everything else, I thought. So yeah, yeah that was my thing. For sure. Yeah. It sounds like you kind of recognized that it was like the cornerstone bit of your life that if you sort out all the rest of the dominoes sort of fall over as well. Yeah. Yeah. And things like um, people, people, uh, everyone judges you on the first appearance that they see you. And if you look better and that, and that's like, that includes, physically looking better, you're leaner, you're stronger, whatever, you know, you've groomed yourself, but it's also how you're feeling about yourself projects externally. And that is the real thing. It's like, you know, you see yourself look good, but then your confidence comes out and then from there. So yeah, yeah, it, it just gives a better, it just gives a better impression. Like,